Welcome to LC Screen Talk. My name is Larry, and this is my review of Little. Little tells the story of a successful businesswoman who is magically cursed into being 13 all over again when she bullies the wrong little girl. Now, honestly, I thought the trailers had promise, but they also had a lot of potential for utter disaster, just foolishness. However, I love Regina Hall, so I was on board just based on her involvement. And honestly, this turned out to be way more entertaining and fun than I had anticipated. So let's go ahead and talk about the positives. Well, the biggest positive for the film is that it's funny, and I was laughing out loud quite a few times throughout the movie. This is right up my brand of humor. I was thoroughly entertained and laughing consistently throughout the film. And thankfully, the film is more than just like sassy, little, bossy, grown adult, mean woman inside of this little girl's body. Of course, we have some gags that play off of that, but honestly, I thought that the humor was elevated above just shoving that gimmick over and over down our throats until we're sick of it. No, this elevated above and was just funny in its own right, and a lot of that had to definitely do with the talent. Regina Hall is great in this film, as she is in everything, but she really showed off her physical comedic chops here. I thought she was really funny and played her part very well. Issa Rae, I have to admit, I'm not all that familiar with, honestly. I've seen her here and there. I know who she is. But she was great in this film. I thought she was fantastic in this role. Her brand of comedy was wonderful. And her playing off of the character of Jordan, whether it be the adult or child version, was perfect. And the chemistry she had with both the adult and child version of the character was really, really well done and believable. Speaking of the child version, Marci Martin was fantastic. Now, I also don't know very much about her. Sorry, y'all. I'm just not a TV person, so the TV personalities I'm not as familiar with. But Martin was fabulous in this film. She was so full of charm and charisma. Plus, she believably played a young version of Regina Hall's character. It was great. But again, the characters had chemistry, and, and that chemistry does a lot to sell this film overall. The film does also have heart, and honestly, it takes a familiar message that we've heard several times before and takes it a step further about being childlike. And honestly, it talks more about society and how society kind of strips us of our identity. And I thought that was a really nice message to tell. So what doesn't work so well when it comes to little? Well, it definitely falls into kind of a pitfall of these feel-good comedies that you're hooked with these first two acts. They're funny, they're rip-roaring, you are moving at a really great pace. But then we get to that third act and we get overly sentimental. All of the feels are dropped into that third act and it slows down dramatically. It's okay to have a message, it's okay to insert emotions in, but I definitely think the emotional aspects to this film were far weaker than the humor. And honestly, the script didn't know how to handle those moments nearly as well as they handled the comedy. So it was a little bit disappointing that the third act was noticeably weaker than the first two. The film also introduces some fun gags and some fun characters and literally we never visit them again. There's an entire subplot about a CPS worker that we don't go anywhere with. There's a teacher who we see in the trailer is a very hunky teacher. And we just don't go anywhere with that. And then the ending leaves a huge gap, completely and totally unexplained. I guess everyone just had amnesia. And if you like explanations, not only do we just completely drop any sort of reasoning or explanation within the world of the film at the end of the movie, the magic of it all is nowhere near explained either. But honestly, just don't overthink this one, and I think you're going to have a really fun time with this movie. It accomplishes the type of film it wants to be very well. You'll laugh, and you'll feel good leaving the film. And although the message 
maybe isn't executed perfectly, it's still a nice method to tell between the big laughs. So if you're looking for a really fun comedy for the weekend, Little is worth a full price ticket. Much more fun and had a lot more laughs than I had anticipated. So that is my review of Little. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead, click like down below and subscribe to the channel so you are always up to date on our latest videos. Also, join in on the discussion. Are you excited to see Little? And what is your favorite Regina Hall film? Let me know either in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on Twitter. I love you all so much for your support. Mwah! Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!